So one of the reasons that I started writing, I've known I wanted to be a writer, like I said, since I was seven. And when I was a kid, I got in trouble for lying a lot. And I had a teacher who said, instead of lying, write it down. Because if you write it down, it's not a lie anymore. It's fiction. And then you don't get in trouble when people actually pay you. Um, and so when I, um, and so one thing I, uh, about writing is I always say I write because I have all these questions, not because I have answers. And, and the questions lead me to start creating characters and telling stories. One thing that I love about writing is it, it, it kind of makes things make sense to me. Um, one thing I do when I'm writing, when I first start writing, I say, no one is ever going to see this. So then I write down everything I would write if no one was ever going to see it. And, and I'm allow, I allow my, it allows me to be more honest with myself. Um, um, and, then, and then I start creating the world. So I start with a character in my head. And then the character just starts speaking. Because basically, if, the, if you have two characters on a page, right? You have dialogue. They just start talking to each other. And eventually, they'll probably start arguing. So then you get conflict. And then they're in a room. So then you have the setting. Um, but the thing I love about writing is it makes me feel powerful. Uh, you can create the world that you want to live in, right, through, the, through writing. And then, um, and then see it there and see the possibility of it. And then see yourself in that world. I don't know if you all know, but anyone who read Brown Girl Dreaming knows I'm a really, 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 really slow reader. I've always been a really slow reader. I still am a really slow reader. And when I was a kid, um, people thought it was a little bit ridiculous that I was saying I wanted to be a writer, given that I was a slow reader. And that, that, I, you know, that reading did not come easily to me. And I think that what I realized once I was much older is that um, in order to be a writer, you have to be a reader. You don't have to be a fast reader. You don't have to be an advanced reader, uh, quote unquote. But you have to read. You have to um, see, you know, see what other people are doing, copy other people, learn from other people. Um, and, and, and it's basically how I learned to write, by reading and copying and rereading and then rewriting. I don't know if you noticed with each kindness, a lot of it is memorized, and that's from the rewriting and the rewriting and the rewriting. Um, and the rewriting, of course, is not always glamorous, right? I, some days I hate rewriting. Some days I love rewriting. But I love when something I wrote has been rewritten because then I'm one step closer to finishing it, even though I don't like that always that rewriting process. And I'm glad you stressed that because they should be in the process of rewriting the poems that they're going to Nice. Yes, I rewrote Brown Girl Dreaming about 31 times. Yeah, it took me three years. So that, that's a little bit crazy, but there's still things in the book that I say I, I wish I could change that now. So there's a saying that if you survive kindergarten, you have enough to write about for the rest of your life. Because in that first five years, six years, so much happens to you. That, that, and so for me, I never don't have ideas. Sometimes I don't have time to write them. But there are ideas everywhere. You wake up, you, know, you walk outside, you brush your teeth, you don't brush your teeth, you have an interaction with somebody. Everything that happens to you or that you happen to is something worth writing about. And the more specific you are, the more people you're going to reach with your writing.
the street and they tripped over their shoe and they like twisted their ankle a bit. Uh, or like this bird landed on a tree branch and then he gets hurt and then he flew off. Because I just think it's really interesting to just read about the stuff that happens without any like conflict or anything. Nothing stopping y'all <laughs> from writing them, right? Is there anything stopping you? What what stop what stops people from writing? I'm interested in that. Uh huh. Time. Okay. How many of you have like done something on your phone in the past day? Maybe played a game, watched something on YouTube, watched something on net. Okay, we got time, y'all. 